The Science of Happiness – How Your Gut Health Affects Your Mood Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? Or maybe your brain feels like it's dancing in a fog. Well, the real culprit might not be your bed. Spoiler alert, it's your gut. Yes, that spaghetti-filled capsule sitting in your tummy could be holding the keys to your happiness. In today's video, we're diving deep, but not stomach deep, into the wild world of gut health and its surprising connection to mood. Get ready to laugh, learn, and yes, maybe fall in love with fiber. Let's break it down, shall we? Inside your gut lives a microscopic metropolis. Let's call it Guttopolis. This bustling city is home to trillions of bacteria, fungi, and other unseen creatures who, for better or worse, are in charge. Some are the good guys, wiping out bad bacteria and helping digestion, while others are the troublemakers, ready to throw off the balance faster than you can say deep-fried Twinkie. Here's the kicker. These bacteria aren't just concerned with breaking down your lunch. They're directly involved in your emotions. That's right, your cranky mood after skipping breakfast? Not you. Fun fact, your gut has a brain of its own, or at least something close to it. Scientists call it the enteric nervous system, but let's just call it gut brain for simplicity. Now, here's where things get cute. Gut brain and big brain, the one in your skull, are BFFs. They're constantly texting each other, except their phones are the vagus nerve, a super highway for gut to brain communication. Gut brain, hey, I'm low on fiber, feeling grumpy. Big brain, noted, deploy, mood swing. What's fascinating is that your gut produces up to 90% of your body's serotonin, affectionately known as the happy chemical. No healthy gut, no serotonin, no serotonin. Well, let's just say things get a little gloomy. So, how can you tell if Guttopolis needs a rescue operation? Here are some telltale signs. Bloating that makes you consider unbuttoning those jeans mid-meal, again. Random mood swings before lunch, or any meal really. A brain that feels foggy, slow, or just plain out of it. Sound familiar? If your gut's having a tantrum, it's time for repairs. But don't panic, we've got you covered. Let's get to the good stuff. Making your gut bacteria happier than a kid in a candy store. Except without the candy, because spoiler, sugar's not great for gut topolis. Here are five easy, practical, and dare we say gut-friendly tips. Tip one, load up on fiber. Fiber is like a buffet for the good bacteria. Leafy greens, fruits, and whole grains are a love letter to Guttopolis. Ever heard of a fiber party? Neither have we, but hey, your gut will throw one internally. Tip two, fermented foods are your friends. Meet the celebrities of gut health. Yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, and kombucha. These fermented delights are packed with probiotics the hero bacteria your gut craves. Think of them as reinforcements arriving at the gates of Guttopolis. Tip three, ease up on the junk food. We get it. That late night bag of chips feels good at the moment, but for your gut, it's like inviting a wrecking ball to a construction site. Switch to smarter snacks like nuts, fruits, or air popped popcorn for the win. Tip four, hydration nation. Your gut thrives on water, and staying hydrated keeps things moving, smoothly. You do not want to find out what happens if things don't move, trust us. Tip five, think probiotics. Not all probiotics are created equal. Skip the flashy marketing on sugary yogurt drinks and go for a high quality supplement or naturally probiotic rich foods. Your diet is half the battle. The rest is all about lifestyle. Here's how to keep gut topless operating at peak happiness. Mindful eating. Slow down, chew your food thoroughly, and savor it. Pretend you're in a fancy restaurant, even if you're just eating tacos on your couch. Stress less. Stress wreaks havoc on your gut. Whether it's meditation, exercising, or re-watching your favorite sitcom for the 10th time, find what makes you relax. 
Laughter therapy. Yup, laughing is good for gut-brain bonds. Plus, wouldn't you rather laugh than, you know, cry? Let's tackle a few gut health myths you've probably bought into. Myth one, detox teas will save my gut. No, Karen, detox teas are not magical. Your liver and kidneys are the real MVPs of detoxing. Myth two, one yogurt a week fixes everything. Close, but no. Gut health thrives on consistency. Your gut bacteria need constant love and care, not a one-time check-in. Myth three, fad diets make my gut healthier. Some trendy diets might actually hurt more than they help. Balance is key. Gut Topolis loves consistency, not chaos. Still not convinced your gut is the VIP of your body? Let's recap why it matters. A healthy gut equals sign better mood. Remember, serotonin production depends on gut topolis thriving. Improved focus and mental clarity. No more struggling to remember where you put your keys. Three, fewer digestive issues. Bloating, who's that? Taking care of your gut isn't just about your belly. It's about your whole body and honestly, your whole life. Okay, so we've learned a lot today. Your gut isn't just some random tube. It's a vital part of what makes you, well, you. Feed Guttopolis with fiber, fermented foods, and a whole lot of healthy habits, and it'll start sending happy chemical emails straight to big brain. So go ahead, grab a bowl of yogurt or a fiber-packed smoothie, and maybe avoid that donut tempting you over on the counter. Your gut told me to say that. Remember, happiness isn't just in your heart or your head, it's in your gut. And lucky for you, you now have all the tools to keep that gut grinning from the inside out. Until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, and most importantly, stay gut-friendly. Cheers to Guttopolis!